65 through 89 Porsche 911 cars have a McPherson strut front suspension. On McPherson struts, camber is set by the angle of the strut. One problem with this design is that flex in the chassis where the strut top is attached will also cause the strut angle to change, therefore causing camber to change. The 911 chassis was designed in the early 60s for the bias supply tires of the day. Sticky, modern radial tires generate much higher cornering loads than the 911 was designed to handle. And those flexible towers need some help. Under cornering loads, the top of the strut is pulled outward, and the result is a loss of camber, right when you need it the most. Strut tower braces reinforce the strut tower tops by transferring the loads to the other parts of the chassis, thereby reducing tower flex and loss of camber. Our basic strut braces are available in two configurations, single bar and triangulated styles. These basic strut braces are an excellent and economic solution for reducing strut tower flex. Our single bar strut brace ties the strut towers together, forcing them to move in parallel, sharing the cornering force of the loaded tire over both towers to reduce flex. Triangulation locks the towers rigidly in place to maintain camber settings, even through high G corners. Made from sturdy aluminum tubing, our braces are tapered and terminated with quality rod end fittings for precise alignment, adjustability, and rigidity. Adjustable preload allows you to dial in a bit of extra camber if desired. All required mounting hardware is included. See the link in the description to read the triangulation tech topic to see why we outperform all other braces. Available for 66 through 89, 911, 912s, and 930s. Fit and finish make these braces as attractive as they are functional. They bolt on easily. 78 through 89 cars require one hole to be drilled for the triangulated brace. Cars prior to 78 already have the hole in place.